You like sculptures? Do you like dragons? Do you like ceramics? If so, you're in the right place. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Undecided and I am your host today. And what I am going to be talking about is finding inspiration in artwork and finding how to find inspiration for your artwork. And, oh shoot, that's not supposed to do that. And one of the things I'm going to do today is show you how I found inspiration for some of my pieces. Um, one of the ways, actually, and this may be a big surprise to some of you older folks out there, is uh, through video games. Um, I, I'm going to do a video on this uh, another day, actually, um, detailing exactly how this works. But if you really think about it, video games today are kind of like a vessel that we pour all sorts of artwork into. It's, you know, when uh, like Renaissance or oh, I guess you could say old style oil paintings kind of fell out of style when art started being mass produced, a, a void in a sense was created. And I feel like that void has been filled by video games and for music too. Some of the best music out there exists in video games and classical music too. Listen to the, uh, listen to the music in Halo. Listen to the music in Dark Souls. You, you get my gist. Um, so yeah. Uh, I thought the sword here, this here is a full length K bar. Just bought this. No regret on this purchase, by the way. Complete badass. Handles work well, too. You know, nice motion. So I, I'm not doing an advertisement for K-Bar. But yeah. And uh, for me, a lot of my sculptures uh, ideas actually come from video games. This here in the back here, this is a poster from Dark Souls 2, actually. And the thing about Dark Souls that I love is just their use of colors, use of colors, use of detail, it just the very, the maps, the way the game kind of rolls out in a sense is very artistic. Um, yeah, finding inspiration. I do find a lot of my inspiration in video games and you kind of have to look for it too, uh, sometimes. Um, yeah, let's see, what else can I do? Finding another place to find inspiration? Well, this may be a little bit of a shock to you. I'm a huge geek. Uh, comic books and uh, sometimes anime, actually. See this boy here, this, uh, this cute little dragon? Um, his name is Frederick here. Actually, you can't see him. Hold on a little bit. I tap the camera down a little bit. Tap. 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 Yeah, see this buddy here? You know he was inspired by? Ever seen Dragon Ball Z? He was inspired by Shenron, um, and Shenron is a Chinese wish-granting dragon. So, uh, guess he's a Chinese wish-granting dragon. Um, not sure this uh, thing that he's sitting on is going to grant any wishes, though. Um, if you are curious, this here is a bong. I'm not joking. It is. And it's also a bong that you can only use tobacco for. Because legally, I'm not allowed to say you're allowed to use anything else for it. So you can only use tobacco for it. <laughs> I'm not advocating for drug use, and I never will. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, just a, uh, um, what else was I gonna tell? Oh yeah, the inspiration for this guy. It's like a, just a lizard on a log. Um, yeah, got a nice little flow there with stick there. I actually didn't take any professional art courses. I learned this all because of my sculpture teacher in high school, who did inspire me. He inspired me by teaching the rules of ceramics to me, um, just how how to kind of think of how things work. You know, like uh, think of how something exists in nature. I guess um, a lizard like this, well. Dragons don't exist in nature unless you're schizophrenic or doing something else illegal. Well, schizophrenic isn't illegal. Hey, you, you get what I'm saying. Um, but I thought of it more as a snake, actually. And I thought, well, how, would a, how does a snake move? How does a snake look like it's moving?
kind of undulates like this, you know, moves on things. And what I did when I was making this is I wanted him to look in a certain di certain direction. Originally, the head was actually here, um, but I didn't want it, you know, I didn't really want him to look at the person when they, uh, you know, take a, a, you know, a riff of some of that good tobacco. Um, because I thought that would be a little uh, spooky, if you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Big advocate for flavored tobaccos, by the way. Um, should have put some cedar, that's pretty good. Do I want any cigars today? Or, or another thing like that's good. I don't like even going off on this. I, I'm a huge like cigar fan. Is What I like to do is I like to take the butts of my cigars and I'll put them in here or something like that and I'll smoke it like that. Um, or I'll, I'll just, uh, I do uh, tobacco pipes too and I'll smoke the ends of the cigars in tobacco pipes. It's not, not always a good idea. But yeah, uh, now I have to waste four more minutes for this video to actually get any views because they have that weird ten, 10 minute view thingy. So, uh, I don't know, just, just stick around and watch me spin my piece for another four minutes. Um, this is a real crappy video. That's not... But yeah, uh, let's see. Finding inspiration in artwork. Another great way to find inspiration for artwork is... Uh, so when I was a kid, my dad took me on a bunch of castle tours throughout Europe. I went to Slovakia, I went to Germany, I went to... Where else did I go? The Czech Republic? And one of the things I loved doing was actually walking around and seeing the different kinds of designs I had for castles. And that inspired my sculptures ever since I was a child. So I was lucky enough to have that. Um, I hope I don't break this because I did spend several hours on the sculpture. <laughs> but yeah, I, I had that, which is wonderful. Um, like, oh yeah, here's a big one, actually. Uh, I was talking about comic books. Um, actually, I don't know if it's related because comic books aren't kids' stories. But if you look at a lot of children's picture books, a lot of them are gorgeously drawn. Um, absolute no, do not spin too fast. A lot of children's books, picture books, are absolutely gorgeously drawn. Tons of creativity. Usually, actually, I find the lighting and the coloration is the best in those. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those with, with me. There's one I remember. I think it was called Merlin and the Dragons or something like that. The story was absolute dog shit, but the illustrations are some of the most stunning illustrations I have ever seen in my life. And they have still inspire some of my sculptures. Um, so yeah, it's another thing, actually. I suggest going through a picture book aisle. If you're trying to find inspiration for art, or even for writing or video game making, if you do that stuff. I wonder if the sculpture is safe spinning that fast. Uh, I can rotate it slowly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just go through like a picture book aisle, pick up some children's picture books, you know, and go through those. Because those are, are masterfully drawn. And uh, another thing you can do, and I, I did this for uh, Dark Souls 2 actually as a Christmas present, is the concept art. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The concept art for video games is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, and that's a good place to find inspiration, too. Uh, whether you're, you're doing video games, which I do consider an art form, or something else. And now it's time for our one-minute martial arts section. one-minute martial arts section where I teach you sculpture self-defense. Somebody's trying to teach you steal your sculpture, you kick him in the face like that. That's what you do. And it's usually the short people who attack you. So, it says lungs here, but so what you're going to do is do a mid-kick like that. That's not really middle, I'm 6'2", but you get the idea. you got to protect your sculptures.
and um, I think that's about it. The uh, camera and the mic are kind of connected, so I don't know if you can still hear me. <laughs> <laughs>